that again, go play action, hit them over the top. And after the play on the ground, that brings up second down here. They'll set up a throw. Completes it right side to Doxon. And a big collision there as he winds up flat on his back. Eight yards on the pick up there, and it moves the sticks. And the offense lining up first and ten. They'll look to throw. And no escaping this time as he'll go down. They got him for a sack. Deshaun Hall in there to drop him. And it'll be a loss of about eight. Looks like the defense in press coverage here. All right, here we go. On play action, they'll throw. Jackson with a grab over the middle. He got 29 yards that time. And on this first drive, looks like they want to get that vertical passing game going early. And they did, and what a warning shot they just fired. If you're not going to back up and play coverage deep, we're going to attack you all game long. And once you adjust to that and you start to back off, then that opens things up underneath. A really nice start for them. Great way to get the game going. They'll wind up getting four down to the 36. Tough running there. That's a hard-earned four yards. Yeah, those are the unsung kind of runs. They don't fill up the stat sheet, but they do set you up in good position on second down. Keep it in the hands of Kelly. And well, he's free going down the left side. It's a foot race. And he'll take this into the end zone. Now, hold on here. We do have a flag down. So let's see what this is about. fake. They'll look to throw. Rush coming, and he's taken down. Deshaun Hall in there to get him his second sack now of the afternoon. Couple of plays sent him the wrong way, and now they face a third and 14. Now back to throw. Looking deep downfield. And he couldn't hang on to it through the contact. Incomplete. This team is not going to make it easy for you. They're a physical group, and we just saw it there on that play. It came in, made the contact, just as he's trying to haul it in. And now the putter, Tress Way, as he sends this one away. First carry for Christian McCaffrey. before they're able to get it up to the 25. Give them 11 yards that time and a new set of downs. That O-line, they cleared a big hole there on that run. The athleticism of offensive lines continues to evolve, and we're seeing it here. Not only are they controlling things right at the line of scrimmage, but they're able to get upfield to get to what we call the second and the third levels. You know, get to linebacker spot, the secondary spot, getting all the way downfield with their blocking, which have to keep the running back clean. They'll try to continue that trend here this afternoon. And he'll work his way across the 30 to the 32. It's a seven-yard carry to set them up with a second and three. 
If these kinds of lanes are available, you have to feel like he's going to have a pretty big game on the ground. Yeah, you can tell early on he's got a little burst in his step, and that's a big pickup right there on first down. Three yards to go here on second down. This is McCaffrey, and he went nowhere. He'll lose yardage back to the 29. He'll wind up losing three, and now it's third down. Came out in a power set, but that only served to put more men in the box, and guess what? If you're going to do that, you've got to win up front, right? Your offensive guys have got to beat the defenders. They lost all leverage on that play. This is Newton off the play fake to McCaffrey. Gets it to Benjamin. It's caught. And he's got a first down as he's up to the 48. He goes for 18 there as the drive will continue. down this is McCaffrey and he'll lose yardage on the play back at the 45 yard line a loss of a full three yards and now it's second down that's a nice play by the defense but the offense can't let that one play define them let it go move on and start over again defense in a good spot let's see how the offense responds with a second and 13 now out of the gun Newton it's a short one here, complete to his tight end. And he'll get it down here to the 43. It's a pickup of 12, and that'll set up a third down. Well, from their point of view, this game could not be starting out much better, could it? Force a punt on defense, and now they're moving it crisply on offense. Crisply, I like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah moving it very, very well. Looks like the defense on their heels a little bit. You put a score in here, long way to go, but you're right, that's a heck of a start. Yeah, and I think this is where the play caller is looking at his play sheet and saying, do I have that dagger play? Do I have that play and just finish him off right now? Because I think they'd love to gain that big advantage early. Here's the Panthers punter now, as he should be able to pin him back deep here with his first punt. They only punted twice in the win last week as he gets this one away. A look at Washington as they come onto the field. The crowd may be losing just a little bit of the edge after back-to-back -back punts. They want some big plays. They want to see some offense. They want to see somebody break away, whether it's through the air or on the ground. Now it'll be interesting to see where the patience is on both sides. Each head coach, can you hang in there and not try and force something that can put your team in some jeopardy? A deep ball for Dotson. And that one falls incomplete. Looked like he might have had position there, but he couldn't hold on it at second down. And it is true. You can draft the fastest. You can draft the most athletic guys. But if they don't know the art of positioning, sometimes it's all for naught. In this case, in the right spot, help force the incompletion. Yeah, but had his hands on it for a second. Would have been a tough catch, though. Falls incomplete. So incomplete on first. Let's see what second down has in store. Running right with Kelly. And not much there at all. He's up only to about the 16-yard line. Just a gain of a yard there, and now it'll be third down. Well, that's a good start to this drive on the defensive side of the ball. Okay. Four C and completion on first down. Then you're able to shut down the running play on second. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised now. A little bit of pressure going at the quarterback in an expected passing situation. to throw out to the left it's complete to Dyson and he's going to have the first down yardage as he's down at about the 30 yard line they give him 14 yards that time and a fresh set of downs first down and 10 now for the offensive group They'll run it now out of the gun. And they 
get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. 11 more on that one and another first down. Relatively small sample size, but that's his longest run of the first quarter. Bounced it out to the outside to make it successful. And to get there, you actually need some help. It's not just your pure speed getting to the corner, making sure that the blocking is taken care of inside so the pursuit doesn't get you. And oftentimes, those wide receivers, tight ends that might be flexed out, they've got to control the edge and make sure no one from the outside can spill the play before he gets there. Back to throw now on first down. He's going to leave this for his running back. It's complete. And he'll be taken down as that will take us to the end of the first quarter of play. And on the outside, they're playing press coverage. Off the play fake, he'll look to throw. And he is out of bounds inside the 35. They call it a gain of 19, and it moves the chains. I do have to admit, I like it when it all comes together, when the top part catching the football, right? Whether you're catching it with your hands or cradling it, comes together with the legs, in this case, the feet, did a little toe tap to stay in bounds and complete the catch. And a great job by our crew on the camera shot. Love when you see the grass or on the field turf, those rubber pellets flying up. Great catch. And he's taken down, but not before reaching the 10-yard line. 23 yards on the play. A nice completion, a little bit of run after catch as well to create the yardage that they got. But it is so tough to cover that route, the drag route, because they run it at varying speeds. Because the key is to create hesitancy on the defender's part. Always so empathetic for those DBs, aren't you? Two big plays in succession. Not sure this D knows what hit them, but now they got to get ready. It's first and goal. This is Kelly. And able to push his way for a nice pickup of six there to get him closer to the end zone, and it'll be second and goal. Kid had a ton of success here so far, but you get the feeling that he might be on the verge of popping one. Yeah, even on that one, there was a little bit of a hole, but it closed there quickly at the end. And he'll try again down here with Kelly. Kelly stripped. The ball is free. But fortunately, he's able to recover his own fumble, and that could have been trouble. All I can say about this play is that someone's living right. I mean, he's trying to gain yardage, trying to get upfield. Ball comes free. What's that panic that we've talked about oftentimes that you feel when you yeah, lose the ball? You can sense it. Oh, you can sense it. And somehow he got to it and was able to recover it for his squad. Back to throw here. Now the pressure gets there, and he goes down just inside the 20 at the 19. Deshaun Hall in there to drop him for his fifth sack of the year. And his kick is good. And it's 3-0 as the Redskins strike first. And that field goal caps an 11 play drive. That's a lot of offense to run to only get three points, but they'll take them. Anytime you can put anything on the board, you run to your sideline somewhat happy. This is fielded a couple yards deep. They'll bring it back to just about the 25, call it the 24-yard line. Carolina getting set to take the field and hoping to do better than they did their last possession when they punted the football. Appeal to the vanity of your offensive line. Tell them that they control your fate. Leverage guys. Win the line of scrimmage. If you do that, you start to win first down. You win second down. And guess what? You start accumulating first down. And that's what they need in order to not pump the ball again. They'll run with McCaffrey. And some big time hitting going on there. He is knocked to the ground at the 33. A nice run there. Nine yards. And it'll be second down. On 
on second down, McCaffrey. And this carry not as productive. He swallowed up at the line of scrimmage. Not enough there for a first. No gain, as a matter of fact. And it leaves them at third and one. I saw a lot of shoulders just drop there. And what I mean by that is they finally were able to relax a little bit because that was an important play call. They needed to pick up that first down at this stage of the game. Yeah, couldn't afford another quick drive and out. They'll run it now out of the gun. Room to run past midfield. And they're able to get this one down to the 25. A big chunk of yardage there, 37 yards. You know it's really hard for a big-time running back? It's patience. Being able to hang in there when the runs aren't there, when you're taking some hits early in the game. But this drive, oh, he's come alive. And in a big way, now he's starting to gallop. Clock running under four to play now as they come up on first and ten. They'll try the air now with Newton. This is caught at the eight, and they do get him down, but not before he reaches the four-yard line. And a nice gain of 21 yards. Two big plays in succession. Not sure this D knows what hit him, but now they got to get ready. It's first and goal. They'll try to run with McCaffrey. The ball's out. McCaffrey lost it. Wow. That ball gets knocked free, but a teammate comes along and scoops it up. Almost like, it's almost like baseball. Guys at bat, people are on base in scoring position. One guy doesn't get them home. The next guy comes through and picks him up. And avoids the turnover. post because officials always tell you I don't want to throw the flag but you caused the play you did it I had to the kicker Roberto Aguayo has it teed up and is about ready to get this one started and they will not get a chance to return this one as it's through the end zone for a touchback. The Redskins offense now. They head back onto the field. And they had a long drive last time, but they had to settle for a field goal. And I'm sure that's how it felt to them, settling. They probably should have gotten in the end zone. Yeah, not out now, joy, right? Because that's what you get when you put the ball in the end zone. But there are benefits to that type of a long drive. Your defense gets a chance to take a break, adjust a little bit, maybe get themselves ready to get back out on the field and play a little bit better. So they'll take the benefit even though they wanted the six points. And maybe roar down the other defense. We'll see. And he will lose yardage here back at the 23-yard line. That's going to go as a loss of two, and it'll be second down. Two. 
Two minutes to play here in the first half. Back with more from Charlotte after this. Now on first down, he'll drop to throw it. On the catch, it's Crowder. And he'll be taken down across the 50 at the 45 in enemy territory. They get 10 more there, and I believe that'll be enough for another first down at will. This one goes nowhere. Losing yardage on the play back at the 46. It's a loss of a yard there, and now second down. Every year I go to the combine and marvel at the speeds that linebackers are running nowadays. They run like DBs, and let's face it, they know how to finish plays, too. Eyes up, head up, run right through them. And he's going to be out of bounds down inside the 20 at the 15. That goes for a gain of 31. There will always be a place for methodically marching the ball downfield. But when you can pick it up in big chunks and strike like that, have explosive plays, that's often the difference in winning and losing. Those types of plays that can knock a defense off balance, that'll drop. And he takes it in. Touchdown, Washington. Jordan Reed, his first touchdown here of the new campaign. And the Redskins are able to strike for six. And it's through, and that makes the lead 10-7. So they will accept the penalty and move forward. Set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. And this will be a touchback as that sails over the end line. Now the Panthers offense, they get set to come back onto the field. And they're hoping to capture some of that magic they had last time out when they were able to put together a scoring drive. But they're still down here, Charles. Not the major concern, though, because of what you talked about. They scored the last time out. They feel good about themselves. They feel like their game plan is now in effect. They know how to attack and what plays they want to put together. But they've got to keep it moving in the right direction because, as you did note, they are down on the scoreboard. McCaffrey, and he will lose yardage here back at the 23-yard line. It's a loss of two there, bringing up second down. Now that play was doomed right from the start. They just about ran into every defender on that one, didn't he? It felt like everyone got a piece of that tackle. Single, single, single slot, single slot. On second down, here's Newton. This one complete to Curtis Samuel. And look out, a big hit to the shoulder pads took him right off his feet at the 49. A really nice gain of 25 yards. They'll run it now, out of the gun. Room to run inside the 40, and he's brought down. Another nice gain, 13 yards that time, and another first down. Now the Panthers going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with 25 seconds to go here in half number one. So the offense has it first and 10. From the gun, here's Newton. Caught on the left side by Benjamin. And down he goes, taking it inside the 10 to the 7. The Panthers going to use the second of their timeouts as it'll come with 15 seconds to play in the first half. First down. And he'll dump this off to his running back, McCaffrey. And he will take it across for a Panthers touchdown. A great play there in the final seconds of the first half. And his guys are able to strike for six. And that makes it 14 10.
The kicker, Roberto Aguayo, has it teed up and is about ready to get this one started. This will be fielded at the six. Solid return, pretty good field position. They'll start at the 32-yard line. Around the NFL, second quarter in Indianapolis. It's the Colts in that one that have grabbed the early lead. I have a feeling that one's going to stay tight throughout. We'll continue to monitor. Now a play fake here on first down. Going up top. And it's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. So it's halftime here in Charlotte with the Panthers out on top as we send you down to Orlando where we check in with Larry Ridley and our EA Sports Halftime Report. Take it away, Larry. So both teams have their marching orders and we'll get going again here in quarter number three. And that'll carry over the back line of the end zone for a touchback. Out come the Panthers. They'll have it first on offense in the third quarter. They have the lead. Now they'll be looking for some separation here as we begin the third quarter. I like the way you term that because now I think they go a little bit deeper into their playbook. They like what they did in the first half. That worked okay. But in order to get the separation that you just talked about, change things up a little bit. Change your tendencies. Try and hit them a little bit more with some things they didn't see in the first half. Let's we'll see if they do just that. And they'll get it up just short of the 45 at the 44. That good for 19 at a first down. And a new set of downs here after picking up the first on the ground. Here's Newton. Caught left side by Funches. Just a yard on the catch there. It'll be second and nine. The goal of a wide receiver screen is get enough blockers in front to create a wall and let him pick his spot to run the football. How about the defense there swarming to it and not allowing that to happen? Did not let him get downfield. Newton going to hand it off to McCaffrey. <laughs> And he'll be brought down at the 45-yard line. Nine yards on the pickup there, and it keeps the drive alive. And this is an example of breaking down a defense, because on a lot of these runs, he's getting past the point of attack. And guess what he's doing? Forcing the secondary guys to have to make a lot of tackles. And a new set of downs here after picking up the first on the ground. A shotgun snap for Newton. He'll drop it off to McCaffrey. 20! A really good pickup of 28 yards. We can talk all we want about football being a game of strength and brawn. It's also a game of mismatches, and they're trying to create one there, getting it to their back out of the backfield to make a bigger play. As we often say, get it to him in space, let him use his leg. Yeah, if he can get a matchup against a linebacker or maybe a defensive end dropping out in a zone blitz, He's going to win that battle just about every time. Going to give this time to the tailback. And able to get him down, but he does reach the five. Another nice gain, 13 yards that time, and another first down. The running game's played a huge part in getting him down to this point on the field. I say stay with it. Keep pounding the football. Keep driving. Keep grinding. Yeah, even down in the red zone, keep going for it. No doubt about it dance with what brought you. And the D-line pinching together must be expecting to run. This is McCaffrey. And not a whole lot there. He does get a couple taking it from the five down to the three. Well, Brandon, we always know that once you score one touchdown, you, you want to. <laughs> you're without a doubt. And so far today, he's got one, but was denied as he tried to get the second one. And now it's second and goal. On the ground, McCaffrey. And he's going to ball his way in for a Panther score. A great effort there. His second touchdown of the game, his third on the year. And the Panthers are able to grow their lead. It's good, and it's 
The kicker, Roberto Aguayo, has it teed up and is about ready to get this one started. This is fielded at the goal line. And not a bad return here. He gets it out to the 25-yard line. Now we take a glance at the offense as they work their way back out for their first possession of the second half. They're down in this game. A chance for the offense, though, to put something on the board, get some momentum here in half two. Try and get things kick-started for them. And you know at the half, they discussed how they were going to get that done. This is where scripting comes into play a lot how, of the how time. How many plays do you script coming out of the second most, most of the time in the first half, you're scripting 12 to 16. I think in the second half, you're really scripting more like 8 to 10. Kind of a starter or an opener, whatever, they, whatever terminology they use. Just something to get you off to a quick start. A loss of a full three yards, and now it's second down. Second down and a little ways to go here. Second and 13. Hey, 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 hey. From the shotgun, he'll look to throw. It's hauled in by Doxon. And he's finally taken down, but not before getting across midfield and across the 45-yard line. And that one results in 35 yards. this and you know he's used to dishing out punishment but here he's one that has to absorb the contact and as a result unable to hold on to the football second down now after the incompletion back to throw the Panther rush too strong they get there and take him down K1 short Busting throw to get him for a loss of six. A rough couple of weeks for the man under center. Five sacks last week, four now this week. Do you try to design some quicker developing plays if you're an offensive coordinator? I think you do that. I think you also change his launch point at times. In other words, move your pocket to the right, to the left. Roll him out, bootleg him. Do some different things so they can't just rely on the fact that he's going to take three to five steps back in the pocket and line up and throw the football. Yeah, current formula is not working right now. And this is away. It's a high kick, and he got all of it. That one sails out of bounds. A side judge will walk it off. And he says it went out of bounds at the nine-yard line. Nice punt. The Panthers' offense here, they get ready to head back on the field. And for them, a touchdown their last go-around. Obviously, they'll be hoping to do that again. And when you start plotting for this drive, when you start thinking to yourself, okay, what are we going to do? You don't go away from what you did before because that worked, but you have to be prepared for wrinkles and counters because you know they'll make some adjustments. They start on the ground with McCaffrey. And he's taken down, but able to get this up to the 20-yard line. It's a gain of 11 yards that time, and it produces a new set of downs. So the run moves the chains, and here we go on first down. They'll fake the handoff. Now Newton. And they get to Newton and take him down for the sack. Trent Murphy leading the surge there. He drops him for a loss of six. Here's Newton now on second down. They'll set up the screen to McCaffrey. And some room to run now. And they'll bring him down at the 27-yard line. It's a pickup of 12, and that'll set up a third down. I wonder what was going through his mind when he got the play call. He just got sacked on the previous play. He knows they're coming after him again. 
A little bit of guts to stand in there, take the hit, and successfully complete the screen pass. Really. And no escaping this time as he'll go down. They got him for a sack. Trent Murphy in there to pick up his second sack now of the afternoon. Here's the Panthers punter now as he'll punt it away for the second time. That's taken on the 25. We'll call that a punt of 54 yards. Well struck. And it'll be Redskins football now with a first and 10. A third quarter score now from MetLife Stadium. Now you saw the score at the bottom of your screen a moment ago. We got a good one going on there. And we'll keep an eye on that one as our game goes along here. Looking to jam the receivers at the line here. Press coverage look defensively. All right, here we go. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. Caught on the right side, Reed. And he's going to be taken down here with a penalty flag on the field. Now that's a good chunk of yardage that's going to be canceled out. And we always talk about hidden yardage in a game. That's going to count as that because now it doesn't go on the books, but now they have to make that up again, don't they? Play action fake. They'll look to throw. He's got his man on the crossing route. And taking it across midfield and inside the 45. It's a pickup of 16 there, and it'll lead to a new set of downs. Fresh set of downs here. They'll set up to throw. And no escaping this time as he'll go down. They got him for a sack. K1 short. Breaking throw to get him for a loss of seven. All right, here we go. On play action, they'll throw. Escaping the pressure right. Wide open receiver complete. They get 11 back on that one. It leads to third down. I know we just saw a nice throw and catch, but how about the big guys up front it buying that time? time? Yeah, that's exactly what they did. They created time and allowed the space to happen. It turned into a really nice play. Out of the gun now on third down. And he fires one that's intercepted. Picked by Darrell Worley. Room here to run. There he goes, right side. And he will bring this one back. It's a pick six for a Panther touchdown. This D wanting to put it away before we even get to the fourth quarter, widening that margin a bit further. And while they won't just empty the bench just yet, if you're a backup, start loosening up. I think you'll get a chance to play before this one is over now with that type of a cushion. Elsewhere, NFL scoreboard, third quarter now in Tennessee. And you saw the score at the bottom of your screen a moment ago. We got a good one going on there. And not a particularly good return here as they'll be forced to start at the 12-yard line. We'll keep you updated on that one as it progresses. After the pick six, they go right back to the air. This one caught by Crowder. And they'll bring him down right around the 13. Just a yard on the catch there. It'll be second and nine. Second down, nine yards to go. Now a shotgun snap as they'll look to throw. Got a man over the middle, and it's complete. A good pick up there of 20 yards. And he's been one of their few bright spots here this afternoon. And as you pointed out, so far he's gotten his. That's not been the issue at all. But the teammates, the other guys, they've been shut down. That's why the defensive guys have to feel pretty good, even though he's over 100 yards. Yeah, he topped 100 with that last catch. 
They'll look to throw now on first down. And a quick throw here. That's complete. He's going to be out of bounds on what's going to wind up being the final play of quarter number three. And we're back now in Charlotte. It's the Redskins with the football, but trailing here as we get down to the good stuff. Quarter number four. Elsewhere, a third quarter score. And that one's pretty well wrapped up as the Giants have grown their lead even further. Remember to keep an eye on the ticker, of course, at the bottom of your screen for updates on that game and others around the NFL. They run with it. It's Kelly. And very little running room there. He did get a couple up to the 49. And the trend continues here in the fourth like it was in the first, second, and third. He's had nowhere to run. And you're probably thinking to yourself, why do they keep feeding him the football? Well, they trust him first and foremost. They do believe that over time he might actually pop one of these runs. But the bottom line is he takes care of the ball well for them, so they keep handing it to him. Takes this to the 45. Broken tackle. Bought him a little extra space. It'll be a gain of five, but still about three yards shy of the first down marker, and now it's third down. Looks like the defense in press coverage here. Now back to throw. And this is going to be incomplete. Another wayward pass. You know, things started out poorly in this game, and to be frank, they just really haven't gotten much better. And all that does is embolden the secondary. They feel good about what's going on, and they just play better and better. Their already slim hopes are going to ride on this one. They'll go on fourth down. As expected, they're going for it to keep the drive alive. And it is incomplete. The Redskins go for it, but it doesn't pan out. And the Panthers will get the football back. So they'll trudge off the field with a bitter taste in their mouths after that failed fourth down conversion. Yeah, there'll be a lot of analysis there on the sidelines. Was it the right call? Was it, the, was it against the right defense? Should they have even gone for it at all? Will that change what they do going forward in this game? A lot of questions to be answered by them. The defense doesn't really care. They're like, bring it on again. We'll stop you the next time, too. And he'll be taken down, but not before getting this inside the 30. A big hitter there. A first down gain of 26 yards. So the run gets him the first, and now they operate with a fresh set of downs. This is Newton off the play fake to McCaffrey. Under a heavy rush, and down he goes. Sua Cravens able to get him for a loss of about three. How about that? One of the so-called little guys putting the pressure on. That was a strong safety. When I was in college, we often called that a lightning blitz. He took a hit on that last play. Now let's see how he and the offense respond on second. Shift together here from the D-line. A handoff, McCaffrey running right. And he's going to get this one down to the 30. One yard officially on the pickup, and it'll leave them with a third and 11. The fourth quarter here, they've got the lead. They want to keep it on the ground. That's what they're doing. Smart football. Keep the clock grinding. Keep it going. But you got to figure now, they're going to see more people stacked up in the line of scrimmage as they try and bleed it out. Going for the deep ball. And it's incomplete, almost intercepted. He had a great shot of picking that off in the end zone. It brings up fourth down. And he missed it. It's no good. And this score will stay right where it is. Well, this winds up an empty possession. Everything looked okay. He just never got the ball on target. And knowing him, he'll be disappointed with that effort. And he's going to get this down to the 35-yard line. 
A really good pickup of 28 yards. Offense comes to the line now, first and 10. They'll drop the throw. And this one complete to Reed. And now a fumble. The ball's out. A call it luck or skill, whatever the case is. They're feeling good about just keeping the football there. Yeah, the biggest thing that they're calling it now, our ball. <laughs> I mean, they don't care if it was luck or skill. Boy, the panic that jumps up in your chest when that ball's on the ground, whether you get it or your teammate gets it, just as mission, that's all you're looking for. And they'll be inside the 25 now at the 24. They get five out of that one, and it moves the chains. So many teams want to throw the ball in this situation nowadays, but I love watching a team that has enough confidence to go ahead and run the football in that situation. That's almost a tendency breaker. On first down, he'll drop to throw. Out to the left here to Reed. Ten yards on the pickup there, and it'll be second down. And with that last play, he's now up over that 300-yard mark. And in today's NFL, it almost feels routine. And I hate that when you talk about a 300-yard passing game. To me, 300 yards still signifies excellence, and he's achieved that in this performance. In the red zone this time. into the end zone for a Washington touchdown. Jamison Crowder, his first touchdown of the new season. And the Redskins are able to cut into that deficit. And that one makes this an 11-point deficit now. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. This is fielded a couple yards deep. And with a marker down, he's up just past the 25-yard line, but I think they're going to be going backwards. Let's check the call. Yeah, this is going to put him back with a not great field position. So they really got zero benefit at all, right? Sometimes you can absorb a penalty when you get a big return. Then the penalty brings it back, but you still have great field position. As you pointed out, not in this case. They'll run it now, out of the gun. And for one of the few times here today, this run's not going to go anywhere. Officially no gain on the play, and it's second down. And when do they start thinking about burning these timeouts? They've got all three still defensively. To me, you have to start right now. Here's the time, and that means you've got to stop them on defense, not give up the yardage, use your timeouts in order to get the ball back and try and score yourself. But now is the time to start using those timeouts. And keep in mind, it'll also stop the clock at the two-minute warning. Again, they run. Again, it's McCaffrey. And maybe a measure of revenge there. He's had his way in this one, but this time they get him behind the line. And they'll lose a yard that time, and that's going to lead to a third down. The Panthers on third down. Two for five to this point. This is third and 11. Pitching it out to McCaffrey. And able to break one tackle, but then quickly brought down. But a nice little gain. And now, defensively, they're going to burn their first time out. Remember, they get an extra time built in coming up here shortly at the two-minute warning. Here's the Panthers punter now, as he's on here to punt it away. He steps into this one, and this is a rocket. And great special teams work here. This is knocking on the door of the five. They'll spot it at the six-yard line. Elsewhere, Ford Field. They're into the fourth quarter now. now. You saw the score at the bottom of your screen a moment ago. We got a good one going on there. A win would be their first of the young season. They go play action here on first down. He's going to find his running back. It's complete. And this one will be taken up. They'll spot it right at the seven. They'll give him a yard on the play, and that'll make it second down. 
And it looks like this will be the last play before the two-minute warning. He'll look to throw. Time for a break. We're back to finish this one off after this. The Redskins on third down. They've had their troubles. Just one for six. This will be third and 15. Back to throw now. It is own end zone. And it's knocked away and incomplete. Definitely desperation time. This just looks like, hey, throw it down there. Hope that your guy can make a play. You want him to make a play, but if not, maybe you get a pass interference call. And you know in the NFL, that's a spot foul. You get all that yardage. That would be a big play. And he uncorks a beauty. Best of the day. And this one will wind up being down just outside of that 20-yard line. And onto the field, here come the Panthers. And on the last go-around, they really couldn't get anything going. They had to punt from deep inside their own territory, which means you're going to lose the field position battle as a general oh rule. What they're looking for now is a little more consistency, move the ball at least a few times on offense, get a couple of first downs, and hopefully flip the field. Yeah, just something to build off of. And now look at him go. He's at the 40, past the 20. Touchdown, Carolina. A big play there. His third touchdown of the game and fourth on the year. And the Panthers add on to their lead. Meanwhile, in Nashville, they're on to the fourth quarter now. And the Titans have just scored, so they add on to their lead. A win would be their second on the young season. The kicker, Roberto Aguayo, has it teed up and is about ready to get this one started. And this will not be returnable. It's out of the back of the end zone for a touchback. So out now come the Redskins. They're down big here late. I don't know. You just one last drive here for pride. Some people like to do that. I remember playing for a guy once we were down huge, and someone said, Coach, what do you want to call? He just waved a hand like, who cares? Let's get out of here and do something some other time. But some teams like to do something at the end to feel a little bit better yeah. as, they continue, as they continue to move forward. Yeah, probably just want to put this one behind them. And incomplete there, almost picked off. That's one you maybe expect your roaming free safety to come up with. But it's second down. And on the outside, they're playing press coverage. They'll run it now out of the gun. And, oh, he is really late out that time. Knocked flat on his back. He lost two there, and it's third down. This linebacking core, they've done a good job, check, haven't they? They certainly have, and what they'll also do when this game is over is thank the guys up front, the big defensive line, because they kept them clean, so to speak. Not letting blockers get to them, allowing them to run to the football and keep that running game bottled up. They give them 12 yards and a first down. Now a play fake here on first down. And it pops free. The collision there jarred the ball loose and brings up second down. My high school coach, John Ford, used to say all the time, if you're in a bad situation, laddie, don't compound it with a bad decision as well. And I think that's what we just saw there. Harassed in the pocket, and he throws into double coverage anyway. He called you laddie? He called me laddie, and that was the nicest thing he called me. Off the play fake, he'll look to throw. Now a desperation throw deep downfield. And incomplete there. A nice hit. Jars the ball free and brings up third down. This defense was definitely alert to the possibility of the deep ball, and they were more than ready for it. They've got the lead, fourth quarter. Maybe can expect more passes like that downfield. They'll look to throw. Got a man over the middle, and it's complete. And now before this first down play, we're going to get a timeout here. 
as it'll come with 36 seconds to go in half number two. And here comes play number six on this drive. He'll look to throw. He's going to let it fly. And incomplete there, almost picked off. That's one you maybe expect your roaming free safety to come up with. But it's second down. Ten yards still left on second down. Here's a play fake as they set up to throw. That is caught right at the 10-yard line. And he carries this one all the way down to the nine. A really good pickup of 28 yards. And the next snap coming inside the red zone here. Back up. Set. Blue, 90. They'll look to throw again. And no escaping this time as he'll go down. They got him for a sack. Now we'll get whistles, and they've signaled for a timeout. Not sure I see the logic in this, but we'll get a stoppage anyway with five seconds remaining. No, 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 no. Check. Go go on, go on. Go on. One final shot. They'll look to throw. And that will be incomplete. They were going for a consolation. People trying to say I'm only in the me. Got a cold with my dogs, can't get in between. I can give them life, no more energy. Amen, man. Amen. Spent about 60 on the time, I can't even lie. No way in, no way out, out, do or die. So I roll when I roll, must be, must be, must be, must be. Amen. 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 I can't rob bins, I don't do peace. I peace, I peace, I gotta eat. Saber tooth, tiger, diamond tooth, teeth. Rocking right now, won't you come pink? I was outside, I was outside. The way that, the way that shake, leave your mouth wide. You need to say grace for you, say thanks. Amen, amen. There's left in my life, don't know what's in store. I've been dealing with these blessings that I can't ignore. Putting up the numbers, we ain't keeping score. Amen, amen. I hit on the block, block by my side. Running in the house for us 12 o'clock. Yeah, the hood love me, but you gotta watch. Amen. Amen. I just, I just three, I don't do sleep. Yeah, trying to, trying to see, see, yeah. UV. Yeah, we gon' fall through, coming through deep. Amen. Amen. Yeah, packed it from the south, moved it to the west. I the logo on the cross, threw it on my neck. Yeah, when I rep the set, gotta stay blessed. Yeah, amen, amen. People trying to say I'm only in the me. Got a cold with my dogs, can't get in between. I can give them life, no more energy. Amen, amen. Man, put it into me. Everybody try to take the identity. Everybody around me turn to a friend of me. Sit back while I take on a remedy. I cannot let it get into me. This plan a toll on me, meant to me. 